This is an Arians ST824 snowblower. I'm going to talk about problems with the drivetrain. One of the most common problems is if this thing gets uh, stuck in gear where it won't, won't, doesn't want to stop or it doesn't even move at all. There are four bolts to take this plate off. Just stand it up on edge on the front thing that should balance it. Then you take the plate off and the first thing is you look at this plate right here. That plate should move up and down. It's spring loaded when you pull on the handle. So if it's stuck in the up position you won't be able to get it out of gear. It'll constantly be on that rubber drive wheel. And then if it's rusted in the down position, so the thing to do is get some WD-40 or some oil right in there. It's hard to get grease in there. You spray that, you might have to take a screwdriver and pop that up. And then uh, that should engage because it's only uh, it's only about three sixteenths of an inch to go up to have contact with that idle wheel. Uh, other problems if if you're trying to shift from first to fit and this thing doesn't move <clears throat> then it's going to get stuck on this shaft this won't be able to slide back and forth so the key to it is get oil and WD-40 right in there the problem with getting WD-40 is it's hard not to get overspray on your drive wheel so make sure you have some brake clean or try to avoid using WD-40 and just oil that even as a preventive measure you should put oil on this shaft that way when you shift this wheel will go from side to side uh, another problem if it doesn't move check your drivetrain make sure it didn't snap in my case it did snap and let's see if you can read this Let's see if we can get it in focus. There we go. That's what you're going to need. I can only get it in 10 feet. And I also ordered one bag of links. Um, that's all you get. You get six in a bag. It doesn't say six in a bag, but you get six in a bag. And then what you have to do, if it's already snapped, um, just take it out and then take the chain and measure it and then cut the other one appropriately. Use a grinder wheel or Dremel tool. Since that one was snapped, I went and replaced this other one too. Since I got 10 feet of chain. And uh, so to get it off, even the new one, just grind the links on one side a little bit. And then it'll come off. Uh, another problem is I haven't needed, this thing's probably about 30 years old. I haven't needed to replace this, but I'm going to. 11 bucks includes free shipping. Uh, sold through Walmart. Let's see if you can read that. That's a replacement wheel. But mine's uh, original equipment and it's still got plenty, plenty of rubber on it. For 11 bucks, I decided to change it. And to change it, <coughs> what you do is get a 9 16th wrench right in there. And take off this half inch bolt take off one at a time rotate it move the wrench then you're gonna have to put this shift that in the third gear and you'll be able to slide the old one out and slide the new one in and uh, that's about it